Um, good afternoon. I thank everybody for coming over. I know everybody's on uh, deadline to move forward. Um, I thought it was especially important today uh, with the legislature electing their leaders for us to have a meeting. Uh, we had a very productive and thoughtful meeting. I look forward to working with the, the leaders of the House and the Senate. Uh, I think that the, the membership has elected their leaders. We've all pledged uh, just to stand together. Uh, Missouri has to move forward. Uh, I think it's important that in this, this, uh, this time that, that we, we make the, the, the pledge to understand that elections are over uh, and that uh, in, uh, with, with all of our energy and expertise, we hope that uh, uh, we can continue a, a bipartisan effort uh, through this legislative state of Missouri forward. Uh, I'll take any questions there like that. You mentioned shared principles, Jay. What are the principles that members of your party and members of the other party share as it relates to the budget or legislative issues? Thanks. So, I mean, today's meeting was not a partisan meeting. I mean, I, I would have to tell you that in the, in the time that we were we spent together today, uh, I, I'm not I'm not confident the word Democrat or Republican ever came up. Uh, I think that what came up was the fact that that the four of us uh, uh, feel honored to be elected uh, by the taxpayers and by our, our respective uh, their respective memberships uh, in positions of power. Uh, today was about uh, the beginning of building a relationship about what we can agree on, uh, not to begin to, to define those differences. So I think that uh, the key to any relationship uh, is making sure you have good communication, making sure you have respectful uh, respectful communication. And, and I, uh, I think today uh, laid the groundwork for the beginnings of uh, what's going to pay off for the taxpayers this state. Can, can I ask the question again? Up. What are the shared principles? The, the shared principles are we're going to work together. We're going to work together. You bet okay. we're going to work together. We're going to work. There are 200,000 Missourians unemployed, and that's way too many. Uh, we're going to work together to, to create the jobs and opportunities that Missourians need to, to get those jobs and work here in the state. Jay, the economy is not very good right now. Are there any of your campaign promises you want to scale back on or delay or put off altogether as a result of a poor economy and not being able to get the revenues needed? Um, I haven't had an opportunity yet to, to, to look in detail at, at what the revenue estimates are. We look forward to working with the legislature. I'm hopeful that we'll continue the, the bipartisan revenue estimates that, that, that we expect to get uh, in the next few weeks uh, so that we can begin to lay out what the next budget will be. But uh, uh, until I've had an opportunity to look at the exact numbers and see exactly where we are and, and, to, and to join with these folks and, and their members about what, what, how much money we have, how much money we expect to have, I think it'd be premature to lay out what... what uh, with that being specific, though, would you be willing to cut back on some of those promises, assuming the economy stays the way it is? Uh, the elections are over. We're going to work together with the dollars that are available uh, to, 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 to move this state forward. Uh, and we will... Uh, balanced budget once again. I know I can count on these four to know that. They will, we'll all work together to do that. Jay, a little bit earlier today, uh, the, the speaker doesn't hang, I hope I'm not putting words in your mouth, but call this budget a situation of emergency. Is it that bad? Well, I mean, the economy is certainly, I mean, Missouri spends a lot, of, you know, receives a lot of its income from, from sales tax and, and from uh, income tax. And those are very uh, budget, I mean, very economic sensitive. Uh, but once again, until we've had an opportunity to get the exact numbers, until we've had an opportunity to, to, to come to a, a mutual agreement on what the revenue estimates are for the next year, I think it'd be, uh, it'd be early to say that. But I, I do think we face uh, uh, responsi shared responsibilities here uh, in, in this regard, and I look forward to, uh, to, to, to executing on those shared responsibilities. Well, the latest Democratic government faced the Republican legislature, came in and presented the budget that required tax increases for his budget plan to be balanced. Are you going to follow the same route, or will you say no to new taxes? I will not follow that route. Next question. Jay, how, how long did you meet? Half hour. Half hour. Yeah, we went for 30 minutes. Do you plan on having these kind of meetings going forward through the session? Um, we, we, we began the discussion of what sort of regular means. I think, especially as you get into the later stages of the legislative session, making sure there's real-time communication between principals. Uh, that's the other thing I think we all committed to is, to, is to make sure that we had access to each other and were available to, to communicate on a regular basis as needed. But uh, uh, I, I, I look forward to, uh, to continuing uh, discussions as well as setting out, especially as you get into the last couple of months of legislative session, reg regular sessions where, where we have the opportunity to uh, to look at what, what, what has to get done and, and, and what order it needs to get done so that we can, uh, and, and what form it needs to get done. But I expect that uh, uh, by the time we get to the, to, the, uh, to the middle of our last six to eight weeks of the session that, that the, uh, the four of us will be, uh, will be seeing a lot of each other. During Thank the you campaign, guys. you made a number what? of pledges in terms of wanting to undo some things that have been done over the last four years. Medicaid cuts, which one of those. Did any of that come up in today's discussion, or is that 
left for future meetings? Uh, all of those, all those substantive policy things were, were left for future meetings. The only thing that was substantive that was discussed today was trying to make sure that we could reach agreement to continue the, the consensus revenue estimates so that we were all working off the same dollars as we move forward. Uh, I, I think that uh, we're trying to begin to, uh, with these newly elected leaders, uh, establish a trust level that, that the taxpayers of the state of Missouri and the voters, the voters voted for and the taxpayers expect, and I think that the, that the five of us are committed to give them. Thank you all Thanks, very guys. much for your time.